Welcome to News Chunks, where we give out delicious chunks of anime news for the week. But our big news this week, it involves manga. Tokyo Pop has announced that its North American branch in Los Angeles is going down the tubes. They're out. They're closing shop as of May 31st. However, their European operations in Germany will remain intact and handle any of their current licensing. If you remember a couple of months ago, Tokyo CEO and ADHD Stu Levy cited Borders bankruptcy as one of the prime factors for being forced to significantly lay off a significant portion of their staff. Since, you know, they're, you know, they're like the only bookstore out there. There's, there's no other place that sells books or manga. Uh, uh, not Amazon or Barnes & Noble or the various anime specialty shops, just borders. And that's their story and they're sticking to it. Speaking of uh, uh, the uh, man-child that is Mr. Levy, he will be spending the next year creating a documentary in Japan about the massive earthquake which struck Japan March 11th, 2011, in which he will call the 311 Project, involving three core values and uh, 11 herbs and spices. I'd, I'd show it to you, but I don't have a blackboard. Or glasses. Proceeds of the documentary will go to support the victims of the disaster. So that's it for that story. In the meantime, let's turn it over to Chris with this week's stream break. And welcome to this week's stream break. And as you all know, the spring season has started and there's a lot of great new anime out and a lot of great returning anime as well. And just a quick disclaimer here is we're going to be talking a lot about Crunchyroll, and we just want to clear things up that we're, we are not being paid by Crunchyroll to announce all this uh, great anime that's coming out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, no, that was just our, our hentai fun, not anything from Crunchyroll. But uh, let's get back on to the spring 2011 anime that's streaming on Crunchyroll. And there's a lot of great new anime and a lot of great returning anime. Among those are Naruto and Bleach, as well as newer returning favorites like Beelzebub, Fairy Tale, and Gosik. But if you're looking for something new, check out anime like Steins Gate, My Ordinary Life, and Blue Exorcist. And that's just our suggestions, but there's plenty of great anime out there for you to check out. So click on the Spring 2011 lineup and find your personal favorite. Now, let's get back to Gene with this week's headlines. Hey, thanks, Chris. That's a lot of brand new anime to be had this spring season, so go check it out on Crunchyroll. You know, when, when you're done watching us, that is. Uh, let's roll into some headlines. First, some production news coming out of Aniplex as they're gearing up for an anime adaptation of Persona 4. Persona 4 is a popular RPG developed by Atlas for the PlayStation 2 back in 2008. Seiji Kishi is being brought in to direct, who has most recently uh, directed Angel Beats, which is a very great anime. Uh, they're bringing in the original cast, the original uh, musical folks, and the original character designers. That's really exciting. It feels like this is going to be a really great uh, direct game to anime adaptation to look forward to. And it wouldn't be anime news if we didn't mention Funimation at least once. We talked about all the great anime that Crunchyroll is streaming this spring season back on the stream break, but let's quickly throw in some stuff from Funimation. Mainly, there are only two. C and Toriko. C is an anime, or C for Control. Uh, I think that's the big long name. It's an anime that follows an economically troubled Japan in the future, while Toriko follows the quest for the best ingredients for the best food. So now we know where those special ingredients for Iron Chef comes from. They come from manly men who hunt for them. Finally, Funimation has also gotten themselves the license to Gynax's Panty and Starking with Garter Belt, and we'll be releasing this parody of an anime on DVD in 2012. And with that, let's head back over to Chris with this week's Release Spotlight. And we're heading into barren territory with this week's Release Spotlight. Sentai Filmworks is giving us all 25 episodes of Clan Ad After Story in a complete series box set on DVD which continues the romance story of the original Clan Ad series. While well, Funimation is giving us a re-release of Darker Than Black Season 1 on DVD, all 26 episodes of this super-powered series are now at a lower price. Well, that's all that's out this week, so let's get on to Gene with Convention Corner. Thanks, Chris. Hopefully next week we'll have a better release spotlight. At least I hope so. 
Let's get through Convention Corner, starting in Los Angeles with Anime Expo. Well, AX has done a little change, their charity auction charity. The charity change is going to be benefiting the Japanese Red Cross to help support victims of the March 11th earthquake. Again, always a great cause to support, and in case you forgot, Anime Expo is taking place 4th of July weekend in Los Angeles. Or Los Angeles, whichever you like to pronounce it. Let's head into the state of Florida, where Wasabi Anime has organized a rather great event in the Cowboy Bebop Florida Tour, where the four main voice actors will be carted all around the Sunshine State, signing autographs, meeting fans. For all the specifics, head to wasabianime.com and find out where you can find your favorite crew member of the Bebop. Finally, let's finish up in Baltimore, where Otakon has secured themselves a really cool musical guest with Chemistry. The, the band, not actual Chemistry. I mean, they're not... Never mind. Recently, the group has produced music for Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. If you want to get down with them at Otakon, head to Baltimore July 29th through the 31st. Hey, but maybe you're thinking, maybe this is a great weekend to go hit up a convention. Maybe this is when I finally go to an awesome convention. I agree! There's some big-time conventions this weekend. So from April 22nd to April 24th, or as everyone else is calling it, Easter weekend, you can head to some of these awesome anime conventions, including Anime Punch in Columbus, Ohio, Louisiana in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, MTAC in Nashville, Tennessee, Soccer Con in Seattle, Washington, and finally Anime Boston in Boston, Mass. Now, let's say you're headed to Anime Boston. Well, then there's a really good chance you'll run into us. There's also a really good chance you could end up in a Shaft Conventions episode or on next week's News Chunks. There's also a very good chance you might show up for our Anime Podcasting 101 panel at 1 p.m. on Sunday in Panel Room 202. So there's a very good chance for you to stop by and say hello. And we hope you do. So until next week from Anime Boston, stay chunky! Mm -hmm.